Hey, it's Oscar from The Coding Universe here, and this is episode one of my entirely new series called Intermediate Java. In this series, I'll teach you some intermediate Java tips and tricks that will help you on your way when you're programming. So today I'm going to talk about XML. Now, probably at one point or another, while you were programming, you felt the need to save something to a file. And you might have stumbled upon the DOM or SAX libraries already included in Java. Now there are two possibilities here. The first one, you said fuck it, and never looked at this again. Or the second one, you pushed yourself through the painstaking process of using these libraries to, well, create XML files. Now I am your savior. I have found a library called JDOM, which simplifies this entire process. It's fast, and it's easy to use. Oh yeah, and it doesn't have any native dependencies. So whether you're on Linux, Mac, or Windows, this will always work. So go to JDOM.org, downloads, binaries, JDOM 1.1.2 and download the JDOM 1.1.2 zip file. Okay, there we go. Go into the downloaded folder, build, open in Finder or in Windows Explorer, and you're going to need the JDOM. 1.1.2 Now you can go into Eclipse, your Java project and go to the Java build path libraries and add the JDOM jar file. I've already done this so I'm going to do it again. Oh yeah and I've added a folder called lib in the inside of the project workspace. Now I've put the JDOM jar file in there and I'm also going to specify the javadoc location, which is jdom, let's see, jdom api docs, jdom.org slash doc slash api docs. So go to the, uh, the jdom jar file under libraries in java build path, expand it, go to javadoc location, click edit, and paste in the link. So now we can create a new class or a new package, call it examples, and create a new class called JDOM test. Make it have a main method. And we're going to import everything in org.jdom. I'm also going to create two methods. One is going to be a method called read. And another one is going to be a method called write. Let's start with writing an XML file. To write an XML file, you need some variables. The first one is your document. Now your document represents the XML document. Kind of self-explanatory. Let's call it document and initialize it to a new document. You can also specify a root element. An element is basically an element of your program. So I'm going to create an element here. So element as type, root is new element, document or root or whatever you like. So I can say document, set root, to root. Now this, ele uh, this element class is really versatile, you can do a lot of things with it. You can add things to it, you can, re you can remove things, you can um, add an attribute. So for example if I would like to add an attribute of name, title, or 
file and there's value file.xml there we go that's an attribute you can also add child elements so add you can uh, so add content new element this might be style or something like that now if I want to write this document to a file I would create a new XML XML outputter call this outputter is new XML outputter Just no parameters output Butter dot build or output I mean and we're going to output it to a new file called file.xml the first parameter will be our document so document Oh, we actually need to specify a file output stream. There we go. So now if I invoke write, I need to catch some exceptions. When I run the program, it will create a new file file.xml in my properties or in my project folder and there we go uh, um, actually this is the XML file so you see it has already automatically added the XML version tag and it has added our root element document with attribute file is file.xml and it has also added the style child and here it ends the document so for the reading we need the same kind of document but we also need a class called sax builder Yeah, we'll call it reader. His new sax builder. So document document is reader dot build new file file dot XML. And now I can say system dot out dot print line document get content for example if I run this there we go if I run this you'll see it is printed out the contents of the document but I could also say something like get root element get attribute value for the key file so you can use this JDOM stuff to implement file input and output in your program and this this is an astonishing amount of code it's one two three four five six seven eight lines of code to read and or to write and three lines of code to read a document that's just amazing this was Oscar from the coding universe and this was episode one of my intermediate Java tutorials <laughs>